mistake. By looking at my face, can you tell what it is? I forgot to wear sunscreen today and it was a, not even that much of a sunny day. It was more of a cloudy day. But that's where the UV rating can really catch you because sometimes when it's cloudy, it's actually even worse. And especially in Australia, um, I heard a statistic once where realistically about two days out of the year is where it's not necessarily recommended that you have to wear sunscreen. But 363 days of the year, it is actually recommended that you wear sunscreen here in Australia. And as the weather is starting to warm up, it's starting to get more and more important to make sure that you put that sunscreen on so that you don't get sun damage. And today I thought, oh, it's gonna be a nice enough day, but it's probably gonna be cloudy. Um, I didn't even think about sunscreen, completely forgot about it. But hey, here I am now with a red face. I've got to put up with that for the next week or so, or however long it takes for it to heal. Um, and unfortunately, next week, it's the Western Sydney Half Ironman. So this isn't really the best time for me to be getting sunburn. So today I went and did uh, the Illawarra Convoy. Here's me from earlier talking about that. So I'm back in Sydney this week, finally back to a normal week. Uh, but I'm doing something not particularly normal today, which there's the Illawarra Convoy. So I'm doing, as usual, dressing up in costume, Han Solo, and joining in the event to help make the event as good as possible. So the idea behind today is that it's a big convoy, so a lot of bikes and trucks and that sort of stuff. Uh, big convoy of them, just raising money for general charities, a whole bunch of different charities throughout the day. And it's hosted here at the Shell Harbour Airport, so we've got all these historic airplanes, that sort of thing, um, and a big runway. It's an awesome place to have it. Well, we're on stage right now, then. My training this week it's been all right I've mostly been doing it in the gym um, so I've been doing instead of swimming I've been doing rowing and other strength exercises that use similar muscles and then I've been doing of course cycling for cycling and running for running now obviously if you're going to be doing an event uh, cycling training is always best done on the bike that you're going to be using for the event since it gets you used to using that bike and I haven't used my bike very much over the last few months. Uh, barely anything, really. So next week is going to be fun, uh, whatever happens. Again, I'm not really expecting a great time. I'm just sort of wanting to get out there and have fun and just enjoy the day. And so between now and next week, the Western Sydney Half Ironman, uh, I'm going to be doing a little bit of training, some training, uh, not too much, actually on... Friday morning, I went to the gym and I was doing uh, bent over rows with a barbell and went a bit too heavy and also bent my back not really in the right way. So it wasn't straight, it was slumped and pulled a little bit of something in my back, which has been causing it to be a bit stiff uh, the last couple of days. It seems to be a lot better today. So I'm hoping by tomorrow it's going to be pretty much completely healed. So I'm going to be all good to keep going between now and next week. So I need to do a bit of training, not too much. Um, I'm gonna try and get myself into the pool just because I haven't been swimming since the Ironman in May. That's probably not the best idea to not go swimming before a half Ironman. It is two kilometers and I grew up with swimming. So when I was young, I used to swim all the time. So it's not really that much of a major thing, but still, I need to get back into the pool this week if possible. And of course, also getting in a few runs uh, throughout the week. 
just short stuff, nothing major. Um, and of course, because I've got this wonderful sun kiss on my face, um, and to an extent a little bit down the front of my body as well, where my costume from today was open, uh, luckily it was a long-sleeved costume, so nothing on my arms. That's all good. But, uh, yeah, so this week I've got to keep up the sun treatment regime, so I need to... I got myself some aloe vera after sun gel stuff. Um, and also, so aloe vera is great at looking after sunburn and just generally keeping your skin really nice and moisturized. And that's the whole idea is as much as possible, I want to moisturize my skin this entire week and keep up the fluids, the water throughout the entire week. Thus, the water bottle. <sighs> I do this every year, at least once every year. Last year, it was when I cycled from Sydney to Wollongong and back, which is uh, 90k each way or thereabouts. Um, so that was a big day and I was wearing my new triathlon suit, um, which had really tight sort of sleeves. Um, so along my back, I've actually still got brown blotches where I got sunburn last year. Um, it only really happens once in the year. I get sunburn really bad at one point and then I learn from that mistake and then for the rest of the year I put sunscreen on. I think I mentioned that in my video when I was over in Spain that I was a bit surprised that I didn't get sunburnt because every summer I tend to get sunburnt ridiculously at least once and then I learn. And so I'm hoping that today was my once for this whole Aussie summer and that I don't get any more sunburnt throughout the rest of the summer. I do actually have plenty of sunscreen that I bought for my various events that I've been on in the last year. So it's not like I've got any excuse. But hey, I've just got to kind of deal with the consequences now, keep up that water and keep up the moisturization and just keep up the sun treatment throughout the rest of the summer and really the rest of my life. If you want swim, bike, run and exercise content every week, then hit that like subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.